Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get this dramatic fall look. Um, I paired it with a red lip, but I also paired it with another lip, so make sure to watch the video to see the other lip that I paired it with. Um, it's a really intense cat eye. Um, I'll show you how to get this nice, perfect, straight line. It's really, really simple, and it's really fun to do. So, if you'd like to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. Alright guys, I'm going to start by priming my face, and I am using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. This is the hydrating primer. So I'm just going to work that all over my face, rub it in really well. Everyone say hi to Charlotte. Alright, and then I'm going to go in with the Soft Ochre Paint Pot. This is by MAC. I'm going to put that on my eyelids. And then I'm going to go in with the Infallible Pro Matte. This is the L'Oreal Foundation. And also put that over my eyelids and then blend it out with the Beauty Blender. This is just to help the area around your eye to match your face later on. Now we're going to take some scotch tape and put it on our eye. It's going to help us get that nice crisp edge. And we're going to go in with Peach Smoothie and just brush that all over the eyelid, up into the crease, and above the crease as well. And then we're going to take T's, and we're going to focus this more in onto the crease of our eye and blend it slightly above. Just to help add a little bit more definition into that crease. Now back in with Peach Smoothie just to help blend that all out and make sure we don't have any harsh edges. Alright, now we're going to go in with the color Sketch. This is by MAC. And we're going to put that on our outer V, really, really packing that color on. We want it to be very deep and dark on the outer corner of our eye. And that tape gives you a great guideline. You don't have to be too precise. You can just really push that product into the corner of your eye. Now I'm going to take Corrupt. This is from Makeup Geek. We're going to deepen up that outer corner even more. And then again, we're just going to go back in with um, a clean blending brush and just blend everything out to make sure there are no harsh lines. And you can go ahead and pull the tape off. And then you will reveal your nice straight edge. So now we're going to take Satin Taupe, which is also by MAC. We're going to put this all over our lid. This is a really beautiful color. It's one of my favorites. Just really pressing that eyeshadow into our lid. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and conceal my under eye circles. And I am using the NYX under eye concealer. And this is in the color Light. Next I'm going to go in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have the color Custard. And I'm just going to cover up some red spots that are on my face. And then back in with our Infallible Pro Matte Foundation from L'Oreal and put that all over our face as well. Then go in with the Beauty Blender and press it all into your skin. And then we're going to go with the, in with the A Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. This is also in the shade Light. Put that in a triangle shape underneath our eye, dot on our chin, down the bridge of the nose, and a little bit on the forehead just to help balance it all out. I like to use this to high for highlighting purposes. It's great at concealing as well, but I definitely love to use it as a highlight under my under eyes. So we're going to go ahead and set everything with the NYX HD... I believe this is just the translucent loose powder. Set our whole face with that. 
Again, I'll have everything that I'm using listed below, exact names, and where you can find them. All right, so now onto our eyebrows. I just brush through them with a spoolie. And then in with the NYX Eyebrow Gel. So I thought I'd like this eyebrow gel a little better. When you first buy it, it's very nice consistency. But after having it for a while, it does end up drying out. And mine now, I can't even get it out of the tube. So I thought it was a great idea being in a tube rather than like the little pots. But it still seems to dry out just as easily. And maybe even worse because with the ones in the pot, you can put um, a little bit of beauty oil in, mix them around, and then they're the right consistency again. So I'm not sure how I feel about this product yet. One eyebrow done, one more to go. All right, so we skipped that step and we're gonna go in with the Tartus mas or mascara, Tartus eyeliner. And then in with an the angle brush and we're gonna do a winged liner. Having using that tape to make that precise line is super easy to do wing liner. Really, you just follow the outline of it. It makes it super quick and perfect every single time. All right, now we're gonna curl our lashes. So now I'm going to take um, Peach Smoothie and Tees, and I'm going to put those under my under eye and just blend them out. I always like to mirror what I do on my top eyelid on my under eye. And then after we have that, we're gonna go and apply our Lights Camera Flashes. This is one of my all-time favorite mascaras by Tarte. And then we're going to apply some falsies. I believe I am using the 105 Ardell Lash. These are the Glamour Lash. One of my favorites. One I use like almost every day. They're just long and they're not too full, but just really long and they kind of get a little bit longer on the outer corner which I really like in an eyelash. So I just pop those suckers on. Alright and then we're going to go ahead and do our bottom mascara and I am using the telescopic mascara from L'Oreal. One of my favorites, just because of the brush, it's so small, it does a really great job getting your lower lashes. And then we're going to highlight with Champagne Pop today from Jacqueline Hill. I am really upset because I actually dropped this and it shattered everywhere, so I no longer have it. I'm deciding if I should repurchase or not, but it is a beautiful highlight. All right, so I'm going to show you two different lip combinations today. Um, first, I'm just um, outlining my lips with a nude lip liner. And then I'm going to use the Too Faced Melt It Liquid Lipstick, and this one is in the color Melt It Chihuahua. It's 
kind of like a mauve nudie pink. It's really pretty. It's one of my favorites. So that's what that lip combination looks like. So I also paired it with like a berry red lipstick. Um, I will list exactly which one this is below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And see you next time, guys. Bye.